Hey everyone, it's Katie Sackoff here. I'm Camila Bell. My name is Kelly Hu. I'm Machen Amick. And here are a few of my picks for women's stories that keep me going, that you can watch to celebrate Women's History Month. It's not gonna shock many people, but it's Alien and the character of Ripley. As an actress in genre, the movie of Alien inspires me, the character inspires me, and um, most importantly, Sigourney Weaver inspires me. When Dallas and Kane are off the ship, I'm senior officer. It was one of the first female characters that I saw that was strong and feminine and flawed. She was just so, so, so capable. We'll go step by step and cut off every bulkhead and every vent until we have it cornered and then we'll blow it the f out into space. Claudine, 1974, starring Diane Carroll, James Earl Jones. Diane Carroll plays a single mother of six kids trying to balance her work life, love life, family life, which I mean, many women on this planet can, can relate to that. I've been working all day. I gotta change my dress and take a bath. And I love that the movie just does it with so much humor and grace and kind of sheds light on what life was like being black in Harlem in the 70s. It's a great movie. Hello, Mrs. Price. Hi. How have you been? Oh, grand. Living like a queen. One story that has always inspired me since I was a really little kid was National Velvet, starring Elizabeth Taylor. I think A, Elizabeth Taylor has always been a big idol of mine, but also something about this film that I think really struck a chord was her character's perseverance and this girl believing so much in herself and something bigger than herself and just defeating all odds. With half a chance, he'll prove he belongs in the history books and not in the knackers yard. And then when I shot a film called The Ballad of Jack and Rose, I had to cut my hair in that film. I took National Velvet with me. I watched it a million times before shooting that scene where I had to cut my hair. And I just kept on thinking, Liza Taylor did it. In this film, it was such a moment and I kind of was inspired by her yet again. Were we the best in the world, Mother? Yes, dear. The best in the world. Moana. Now it's starring uh, my fellow Kamehameha Schools alumna, Oli'i Cravalo and Wayne The Rock Johnson. Now I love that Disney has gotten away from the young girl getting saved by a charming prince. You are not my hero. And this story in particular has nothing to do with romance whatsoever. It's really about a young Polynesian girl who goes on a quest to save the people and island home that she loves from the curse of a demigod called Maui. I'm gonna get a sitefiti so you can put it back. Thank you. You're welcome. So for Thelma and Louise, it was incredibly inspiring to me to see two strong female characters depicted and acted so beautifully by Susan Sarandon and Gina Davis. But it was also a, a very female empowering story and it was at a time when those kind of stories weren't being told. Tell me something, is this my vacation or isn't it? And just really speaks to two women that need to find their way from being underneath a male character in their lives' thumb and finding their own voice and finding what they want in life and really bonding over this incredible friendship. You're a good friend. You two sweet are the best. Mean Girls is one of my all-time favorite iconic movies because Tina Fey can do no wrong and it just proves that women are funnier, period. That is so fetch. Gretchen, stop trying to make fetch happen. Oh, I first watched it when I was in ninth grade and it changed my life, truly. I'm still quoting it to this day. And the most random lines too, like, say, say crack, crack again. again, crack. October 3rd is now a holiday, like that's how impactful a movie can be when it's brilliantly hysterical and made by women. You girls keep me young. Oh, I love you so much. Thanks, IMDb. Happy Women's History Month. I hope you enjoyed my recommendations and can celebrate Women's History Month with me. Let's keep lifting each other up.